So, I have a question. What? How are you liking the Harley now that you have ridden it for a little while, a couple hundred miles? A, a with, couple hundred? A few uh, hundred. Three, a few, all right, a few hundred miles with the Arlen Ness brake rotor. I bought this new one, 13, and um, this is my first Harley, so I was used to riding mostly Japanese bikes. And I, I immediately, I didn't like the front brake on this bike. And every time I rode it, it was like, oh, geez, you know, this thing doesn't stop well. It was always in my mind. Uh, you know, and this thing has a single rotor on it. And I started looking into, you know, putting maybe multiple, you know, uh, six piston calipers or whatever the heck they have on the stock rotor and, and uh, all that, uh, you know, maybe twin rotors, you know, which would require some fork, work on the forks, you know. And um, I started calculating money, this, that, and the other thing. And I kept looking and looking. I'm riding a bike for, it's now 19, from 13 to 19. So I'm taking my good old time. But what I'm, get, what I'm saying is, every time I climbed on this bike, the front brakes bothered me. And I never really could get with the bike. I never could come to terms with the bike. I never could really, really enjoy the bike for what it was because the whole time I'm riding it, I'm worried about not being able to stop. And as quick as I would like. So anyway, we put the Arlen Ness rotor on in the spring. And that is a nice kit. I mean. It's a larger diameter, so you got more leverage and yada yada. I don't want and but the nice thing about it is, is you still use the same factory caliper, the same pads. The, the only thing different is the rotor. And um, I, I really like that approach. And plus the fact that it looks badass. I love the look of that huge rotor on the front. Some might say, well, it uh, increased your unsprung weight versus a stock one. Yeah, if I use this, uh, you know, continue to use a single rotor, uh, yeah, if, uh, probably one of the multi, you know, four or five or six piston calipers would have been better. But it would also have been more expensive, and then God knows a factory go out of business or you can't get parts for the, you know, and that becomes an issue. So, anyway, this is what I decided on. What was the cost on this? Do you remember, SJ? Do I remember how much it cost? Yeah. Um, about 170 estimated, roughly. Wasn't it closer to 300? Um, wait a minute, it might have been, hold on. I don't know. I'll, anyway. I'll put the, the, the link to it. Yeah. Coming over. I mean, yeah, I love room. Uh, I will put a link to the Arlen Nest down in the description below. So what what I'm getting around to saying is once I mean this thing stops. <laughs> I, it, it puts it it puts the front brake on this bike in the real world. It really does. And once I was had confidence that this thing could stop pretty well. I started to enjoy the bike and see what the bike, what the bike was really all about. Up until then, my idea of the bike, I, I never could get a good picture of the bike mentally because um, I was always worried about the brakes. So that was at the forefront. So I couldn't enjoy the bike really. And, and 
and think about the bike for what it really is. And now that I've done the work on the brakes, um, which wasn't a big deal, but that little bit allowed me to enjoy this bike. And, I, you know, the bike has come into its own for me. And I must say, this bike went from my least favorite. Um, it, mo it moved up a notch or two. I, I haven't, you know, decided where it sits with all the bikes SJ and I have. We, we have four. You guys don't know. We got an R3 Yamaha. This. Corsair 650 and the H2SX but this was sitting at the bottom of the heap and it's not any longer it's a very comfortable bike you know it's I haven't had any trouble with it I mean it's been good and I've accessorized it like everybody does that has a Harley I don't know too many people leave them stock they're fun to do and everybody and their brother makes parts for them so why not and um but I've, this bike is, without those brakes clouding my brain every time I rode it, now, I mean, it's comfortable out on the roads that we're on right now. I mean, it's like riding an easy chair. And uh, it all falls in line. The limited ground clearance isn't really an issue for turns. Uh, even though I bitched about it, it, it really isn't an issue because I don't, I, I'm a conservative rider and I don't lean over any farther, that, you know, real far. So, ground clearance for me isn't an issue. I guess it might be an issue if I've got to take some emergency evasive action, but for my normal riding, I've never scraped anything on this bike. Even some, what I would call some spirited riding, I, I've never touched anything down. So, but I've enjoyed the bike. I've, with those front brakes out of my brain and having confidence this bike could stop, I mean, it, it just, and if a couple words makes me realize that Harley Davidson really does know how to make a bike. And that's all I can say. It's, it's just, it's a cruiser, it's made by Harley Davidson. And with those brakes out of the line, I finally can get a clear picture of what this bike is all about. And I love it. Absolutely love it. So until next time, guys, you say it, babe. Ride safe. See ya.